Hi, I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design, and today, uh, real quickly, I want to uh, explain about the gravity cap versus the four and eight ounce uh, nipple cap. I had a customer who was a little confused, so I said I'd make a video and explain it all out in the video. So let, let me move the camera in close here so you can see everything, and we'll run through this. Pretty simple. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this is the four and eight ounce bottle. It has one nipple on it, two comes out. You hook this into your stove. Uh, when you get ready to fuel the stove, you hook this to the nipple on your stove, turn the bottle over, and you squeeze it. And as you can see, fuel comes out. There wasn't much in there. Anyway, and that's great, but here's the problem. When you let off of this bottle, see how I've got it squeezed? When you let off this bottle, the bottle retracts back to its original shape and creates a vacuum and pulls all the fuel you just squirted into your stove right back into the bottle. Pushes it out and sucks it back in again. The only thing that saves you on that, on the old style stoves, is that the felt in the stove retains, has soaked up enough fuel so that all the bottle pulled back is any fuel that's not suspended in the felt. So you end up with a net gain, but not as much as you would if it didn't suck it back in. So uh, what I did was to get rid of that on the old stoves like the Bongo Pro and the uh, M4 and the M2SB, uh, the old style stove was I built what's called the gravity cap. Now this is a little different. This has two nipples. One has a two foot long hose on it that goes to the stove. The other one has a short tube on it that affixes to the side of the bottle with an elastic band. Okay, now how that works is, I'm going to try to do this so you can keep it all in camera. I know that I can or not. You tilt the bottle upside down and hold it up. And I don't know whether you can see it or not. You hold it up and you can see fuel running out. That's fueling your stove. Once you get your stove fueled, you turn the bottle back over and set it down. And the fuel stops. But it doesn't pull any fuel back away from the stove. Because you're not squeezing the bottle. It simply leaves the fuel in the stove that you initially put in it. Without sucking any out. So you've got much more alcohol in the stove. Uh, with this setup, uh, so it burns a lot longer, and that's the whole idea behind the gravity cap. Okay, now that's the only reason why this exists. I don't sell any of those stoves anymore. I've overcome this entire problem, which deletes this cap altogether by going with what's called a snorkel stove, which simply has a tube from the base up to the top, so that even if you use one of these bottles, uh, the fuel squirts up to the top of the tube and cascades down into the stove. And when you let off the bottle and it goes to suck fuel back in, the snorkel's up above the alcohol, so it just sucks air out of the snorkel. And the stove stays full. So this is, although you can use this with a snorkel stove, especially if you're arthritic and had a hard time squeezing the fuel bottle, uh, there's really no need for it with a snorkel stove. Any of the regular uh, nipple caps will work, even the ones that pull back because of the snorkel. And that's the only reason to use this. So let me show you one more time. Uh, you've got the two foot line that goes to your stove, and you've got the short line that goes on the other nipple, and it's held in place with an elastic band, which isn't supplied. You have to come up with your own. And that holds it up here so that when you turn the stove, turn the bottle upside down, you get fuel. And when you turn the bottle back over and set it on its base, the fuel stops. And that's all there is to this. That's it. Just It's just that simple. So, uh, I don't know where to go from there. That's it's the person that's having a problem with this. I, I don't understand. I've sold thousands of these, 
and I've had, I think, three inquiries about them with people that had a little bit of a, a problem reading the directions, which is pretty common. And, and like with one email, we straightened it right out and they were all happy with it. And it worked really well for the older stoves. Now I'm thinking of discontinuing this because since I don't sell any of the stoves that this would be a good setup with, like the M2SB, the M4, or the Bongo Pro, don't sell any of those anymore. Uh, and I very, very seldom sell one of these. I'm thinking about discontinuing it all together. So anyway, that's, that's the deal on, uh, the gravity cap. Good little setup. Uh, works really great with the older stoves. Uh, but it really has, its day has come and gone. So, uh, I guess that's the end of this video. Uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.